Welcome to the Fly Route Pod. Whether it's your first time listening to any of our videos or your return listener, do us a favor. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. The, the, the Fly Route Pod. The Fly Route Pod. The Fly Route Pod. And that is the Pelicans and the Memphis Grizzlies doing a pretty big trade, right? We see that, you know, the Pelicans get Jonas Valanciunas. The Grizzlies got Steven Adams, Eric Bledsoe. Two pick swaps in this draft. They go from 17 to 10 and from 51 to 40. And a 2022 top 10 protected first round pick. All the Pelicans got was Jonas Valanciunas and the later picks in those drafts. I got to hear where you are at on this trade. Who do you think won it? What are your grades for these teams? Where are um, we at? I, I think definitely the Pelicans won the trade. And to go back to the topic we were just talking about in the last segment about Lonzo Ball and where he should go, I think he does leave, but I want him to stay because I want to see teams work through their shit and figure this out. And now bringing in Valanciunas, and I just like saying his name, Valanciunas, bringing in Zona, bringing <laughs> him in now, allows what they want the league to be, more wing play, more power stretch for Zion. Now he can stretch out. Now Zion gets more drives to the basket for them, them huge leaping dunks, doesn't have to post up as much. Valanciunas, this can turn him almost into what the Bucks look like because Giannis plays the role of, uh, um, excuse me, uh, Zion plays the role of Giannis. Valanciunas plays the role of Lopez. Mm-hmm. You, you see, you see and, and then you have He's the, a decent uh, Holiday. Shooter. And uh, Ingram, uh, that comparison, and then Lonzo and and Middleton, however you want to shake it up. But it starts to kind of make that type of team where now your star wing guy and Zion gets to now play a little more free, more drives to the basket, more one-on-one coverage. And and now you got a guy in in the post now. And not to say Adams wasn't, but, you know, Valentinus is a little more sturdier, a little more stockier, bigger statuous kind of guy. That could kind of still throw some bowls in there. One of the very few centers that still do. I, I think they, they even with all the picks and stuff, because picks mean nothing to me because uh, you don't know who you're picking. So picks, picks mean nothing to me. Player for player, they they won the trade. New Orleans uh, Pelicans did. I'm with you. I gave the Pelicans a B plus. They gave up a lot of draft capital, but they got the best player in this trade by far. And this should hopefully allow them to build something around Zion that makes Zion want to stay in New Orleans because they need to start winning games to get Zion, Brendan Ingram, et cetera. They want to stay there. It's big for them. I gave the Grizzlies a C plus. I ain't going to front on you. I, it, it's, I don't get Eric Bledsoe for them. I don't get Steven Adams for them unless they're going to turn these players into something else, you know? Like kind of Danny Green took a very short stop in Oklahoma City last year before moving on to final destination in Philly. Unless they have a plan like that with all this draft capital to bring in another big name to help stay and push the Grizzlies forward, it doesn't make sense to me because this is a move that I would expect OKC to do. OKC has been doing nothing but hoarding all the picks possible, right? This isn't a move that I'd expect from a team that was in the playoffs last year. They went backwards. Well, it, it, also, too, on the flip side, I thought the Grizzlies did well with the trade because, once again, I think Adams fits for what their team is and what their team does. Now, they have more of a slashing attack point guard who needs to work on his jumper, right? Valanchunas clogs the lane. Adams is more mobile and moves a lot more and is a lot more agile. A lot of mid-range pick and dives you're going to see now. And you could throw the lob to him, too. Not Adams posted coming up to pick at the three-point line. They'll start to side uh, what I like to call mid-range pick and dives where you short quick, sturdy picks at, like, the free throw line or, like, the first block on the three-point on, 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 uh, on, the, on the side box where you can make a quick move. Adams is more athletic to turn on that, put his hand in the air, and get a lob from Ja because Ja's on the penetrate now, right? So Ja's got all the eyes on him. Valanchunas didn't move that fluently the way that I think Adams does. So I think he works for them. I just like, because Zion's the better player star of the two teams, what did that team get? That's why I say they won the trade. But I don't think the Grizzlies getting Adams is bad. I feel for him because, you know, not long ago, he was in the conference finals up 3-1. And (laughs) five years later, 
is fucking Memphis. Shit changed. Is like, <laughs> I feel I feel for him because he's a good, he's a hard nosed good player. Keeps his mouth shut, doesn't draw any attention. I like just gets it, just shows up and does his job. And you always want guys to succeed like that. At least I do. 